about the nanotechnology fundamentals and applications. Exactly, today I am going to focus on nanomaterials and how nanomaterials are classified from the bulk materials. Right? So, then only we can apply for nanotechnology. The material characterization and material preparation is the first step we have to understand before going to enter into the nanotechnology and its applications. Right? Fine. Now, uh, nowadays uh, we are hearing lots of words like nano devices, nano materials, nano sensors, nano medicine, etc. etc. Even Tata Motors has also come with one car, Tata Nano. What is the exact meaning of nano? First of all, we should understand what is nano? Small but effective. Okay, so nano means small but effective. The car has come with all the features, but it's effective in mileage and comfort. So on so forth. Right? So in the same way, first initially we have to focus on the nano materials and then where we can apply the nano materials for the industry or wherever we want, we can apply. Right? Fine. Now you just consider this pen. What is this pen? This is a ballpoint pen, right? Can I call this pen as nano pen? No. Can I call this pen as nano pen? No. No, it's not possible. Why? Because there is no any nanotechnology or any nano science, the basic concepts has been applied to this pen? No. So, if I want to call this pen as nano pen or if I want to market this pen as a nano pen in the market, what I should do? I have to apply some nano concepts, right? I have to do that first. Right? How can I call this shoe as nano shoe? I have to apply nano technology there. Then only to be called as nano shoes or nano shirts, whatever it is. Okay. So application wise we have to focus. So we should understand first of all what is nano particle. Then I can go for nano materials. That nano materials I can apply to the pen, then this pen will become nano. That is the basic concept of nano technology, right? So before going to the application, we should understand the basic concepts. Fine. Now uh, I call my dear boy, Mr. Sashi. You just assume my whole body as a bulk particle. I mean bulk material and its internal particle. So that means what? It's not in nano range. It's not in 10 to the power of minus 9 liters. Right? My uh, student, my dear boy, he is going to make me as a nanoparticle using some suitable techniques. Number of techniques are available in the market. Number of advanced instru instruments are also available in the big big institutions or the academic institution or even the industries also like GE kind of companies. Okay, so he is going to choose any one of the technique to make me as a nanoparticle. Now I am a bulk material, bulk particle. I can walk like this. I can jump like this, I can sit like this, or I can run like this. Right? He is going to apply nanotechnology now. Please come and then you can make me as a nanoparticle. In this any one of them. This particle is able to do all the activities, but I don't have much space to accommodate the same particle in my room. So I'm going to resize him, which doesn't degrade with its properties. So I will just reduce the size. Even the size of this particle is able to give me the same property what it has previous, which I will choose. Thank you. So, now my basic property has been changed. Can I walk normally in the previous way? In which way I was walking and in which way I was running and in which way I was jumping? Is it possible? No, it's not possible. But the change in property, now in which way I have changed?